my plan has changed again. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to spend three euros on the bus and go to this lake that I remember being beautiful. All right, so either the driver wasn't on the ball or literally bus travel is free in off season because I, people were walking on, walking off, not paying. So I've just got about a 20 minute bus ride for free. Now, what I'm looking for is a particular lake that I found last time I was here. I was here about seven years ago or something ridiculous. And I'm looking for this particular lake. I know it's somewhere around here because this is, if you imagine Chamonix, it's like a straight line, the valley. This is pretty close to, uh, to where I was the last time. Like, it all looks new. They've renovated this whole place. There's new concrete and roads and things, so it's quite hard to see where I am. But I think there might also be a hike up into the, into the hills here. But from what I remember, there's... Ah, okay, so there's a lake here. But the lake I'm thinking of is different. I'm thinking of another lake. Maybe there's one behind it or something, but either way, the one I'm thinking of had like um, a building on the side of it, like a castle, not a castle, like a, a small building that goes down. And then you can see the lake there. Maybe it was this one. When I came, it was covered in snow. So it obviously looks very different. There's also a field with a Via Ferrata going up the side of the mountain, that's what I remember. Ah, oh, this will do. Let's go and see further up here, I think. Yes, I was right, I found it. So there's the lake, this lake here. For some reason I remember there being a lake on the other side as well, but there's a building which I've just seen. Which is what I remember. And there's also a slack line. Interesting. So you can hike to Chamonix for an hour, Le Hooch for an hour and 15, Le Bosson, half an hour. Le Bosson, that could be good. And I'm sort of playing roulette with this weather. I've come out literally in summer gear now because uh, I didn't think the weather would come in but now the clouds are looking a bit dangerous ah uh, yeah that, that was it there was also an acro park which was closed when I was last here because it was covered in snow sort of like a go ape for those of you from the UK yeah I think this is a better idea I was going I was going to hike up a big trail today but I think something a bit a bit more on the flat will be more suitable this is what I'm this is exactly what I remember this lake and you see in the distance there's somebody climbing the mountain over there and I'm gonna go and see if I can do a bit of climbing I won't go too high because I've got no no gear but yeah look how clear this lake well you can't really see how you can't see how clear this lake is but it's very clear and then there's this strange looking building here. Wow. When I last came, this entire lake was just a sheet of ice. And uh, it was, yeah, really breathtaking. Really lovely place. All seasons, really. And then here, look, we've got the, the Acro Park. Do you know what? This actually looks pretty good. Looks a lot better than how I remember it. I, maybe they've done some improvement works to it or something. But it's pretty cool, yeah. There's like a high ropes thing above there in the trees. Nets to climb. But I want to explore this building first. And I think there's over there, there's some more people doing climbing, which I'll go and see in a second. Guarantee my battery's gonna run out any minute now. Luckily I have a spare. Yeah, here we go. This is what I remember. A tiny little walkway, which just goes down to the lake here. Uh, 
don't think I can get any further without falling in. We're at DEFCON red, guys. Last battery. And then I need to actually go home and rest and charge all my batteries up because I've just been filming too much stuff. But how can you not film when you've got this? Look at this. Beautiful. There's fish in that lake, but you can't see them because wide angle lens. So pretty. I think because I've only got one battery left. Because I've only got one battery left, I'm gonna to have to be a bit specific about what I film. This could be an interesting little walk. Okay. I'm gonna explore up there in a second. First, let's go and see this mountain climbing area. I do it. Yeah, I think I can climb a little bit. Oh, I wish I had my gear with me. Even just a rope and a harness would be fine. I think I better not go free soloing today because there were those giant ants on the rock there. Which normally I wouldn't really care if I got bitten by one, but with no harness, it means that I sort of, I would fall, really. Oh wow, there's a little cave. Let's go and investigate the cave. Water's actually bubbling up from over there. Maybe this is the source of some. Surely this isn't the source of the river. This looks full of mosquitoes. Pretty cool. I don't normally have coffee, but today I've had two espressos because it's just a nice thing to sip on while I'm enjoying the view here. I don't want a big coffee, but I also want a little little shot of caffeine just to keep me going because I've not been eating much. All right, so I've had a meal, feeling strong, feeling very energetic again. Had a rest and I'm ready. Now this is exactly the sort of thing I wanted to explore. My only regret is that I didn't, 
I don't have a climbing harness, so I can't actually go, go climbing, but I can still see what this is. This cave looking structure. Yeah. Oh, okay, so I can't actually go in there, there's nothing, nothing in there. Right, we're gonna try and go higher. I don't know when the last bus is, but worst case, it's only an hour walk back to Chamonix. And we don't care, we've got, I've got some nuts in my bag, I've got water, I've got uh, everything I need really. I've even got music this time, so that I'm not bored on the way back. Because the way back, if you go up a, up a hiking trail and then you come back down the same way, it can be a bit boring, because you've already done it, you've already seen the sights, but you've still got to walk back. These woods are crazy. So lush and vibrant. There's some type of shrine here. Maybe a grave or something. I think we're gonna play a quick game of Get Lost in the Woods. It's one of my favorite games to play. And I'm very good at it. Because as you can see now, I'm lost in the woods. What's this rope doing? Should we climb it? No. <laughs> On Google Maps, it shows that this area near here, there's a giant clearing. And you can see there is actually parts of what was a mountain biking trail. You can see this platform of um, wood there. So it's obviously a trail. And this, this means it's a trail. But I guess it's just become a bit overgrown. But I think if we carry on up this way, the path should even out a bit. I almost don't want to get the bus and go back, but I think the last bus is in about 20 minutes. Maybe I could just camp somewhere up there. bus to go back and start editing some videos. It's been a pretty full on day but Thank you. 